You got to tune to Warp Up on KEXP 90.3 FM in Seattle, live on the web at kexp.org. I'm Derek Mazzoni, your DJ and host, and it is with great pleasure to introduce Juana Molina. <laughs> Juana Molina, 
live in the studios of KXP on Whoop Up. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much for having us. We love you a lot. Thank you. As you can see by all these various records. And one of the things that um, I need to show is that we have some pretty stringent music directors here. And usually you get like two or three recommended tracks. Yes. Just about every single track is recommended from really? one to another. So <laughs> I was reading is like it's been the most recent record took five years to put together. Uh, yes, four actually. Four? Uh, yes, okay. well, then uh, the process of coming out, it took one more year, okay. but it took so four years. Yes. It makes sense that, you know, you take you spend some time writing each song and producing it and make it work. Yeah, well, okay. thank you. <laughs> That's wonderful. Um, are you still based in Buenos Aires? I, I am, totally, okay. yes. You're going to be playing in Portland at Doug Fur Lounge. I believe Portland also loves you too. So Yes, I you, haven't been there in a long time. It's changed quite a bit. It's good, <laughs> in a good way, in a good way. It's changed? Yeah. It's, I can't it, imagine it, how. It has, a, it has a sitcom right now. So that's going to change everything, which oh, is interesting. Okay. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, 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 yes, I know. Then that's, yes. you kind of got started in sitcoms, didn't you? Uh, kind of, yes. Okay. And yeah. it was super successful. It was like Juana and her brothers or something? And her sisters. And her sisters, <laughs> yes. hermanas. Yes. And, um, and then you gave it all up to do music. I was doing music first, and then I needed money to be able to support my music, and I got too successful on TV. Too successful? Unfortunately, yes. And then I got away oh. from TV. <laughs> So sorry. So so sorry. <laughs> no, that, but that is the truth. I wanted. Uh, I I thought uh, that was gonna help me to have some money extra to to have free time mm-hmm. uh, to play music, and then actually that's true. That I got too successful, and I quit without even noticing. I quit music for almost eight years. Oh wow! Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So it was coming back. Did you? Okay, let's yes. talk, let's talk more about that. That's fascinating. Please play some more music. Okay. Juana Molina, Wopop KXP. Un, dos, tres, fa.
Juana Molina. Live on Wopop on KEXP. You're very noisy, but it's pretty. Thank you. It's very, very pretty. Is that noisy? It's just, it's just not, it's discorded, but yet it's very attractive and, it, and it's a really interesting way. I think that's one of the first things that drew a lot of us here to you, to your music. It was like, wow, that's really going into some interesting directions. You never get crazy, but you never sane either at the same time. Can you introduce of the Of course. Diego Lopez de Arcaute in drums. And then, <laughs> and then Odin Schwartz in keyboards and Hello. vocals. Thanks for being here. Hello. Beautiful. Please, some more music if you can. Okay, okay. Thank you. 
Juana Molina, live in the studios of KXP. That's beautiful. Thank you. What's the song about? Um, this song's about um, the the myth of R E R. I don't know how to pronounce that in English. Mm-hmm. The myth of R. Sorry, that's my guitar. I don't know. Um, and uh, this soldier in in some Plato's thing. I don't remember exactly what, but this soldier sees, has a dream, and he sees in his dreams all these big heroes mm-hmm. asking for what they want to be in their next life. And Ulysses, uh, what do you call Od- Odyssey? I don't know what you call it here. Od- Odysseus. Odysseus, okay. We call him o- Ulysses. Why okay. is that different? It might, be, it might be two different ones. No, 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 it's the same person, okay. but I don't know why it's this. It's, um, so um, he asks to be the most humble of all men on the planet okay. and then Orfeo or whatever you pronounce that Orpheus. wants to be Orpheus wants to be a swan uh-huh. and um, uh, Agamemnon wants to be an uh, an eagle and so on wow so, yeah light material <laughs> beautiful awesome thank you um, wow that's really that's really pretty amazing so I, I want to tell people a bit about your your story Um, so you were born in Argentina. Yes. When the military took over Argentina, your mom took you to Paris. Yes. And you lived in Paris for six years. Yes. And you started playing guitar at six years through your father. Yes. Um, so from Argentina to Paris, you're surrounded by music and the whole process. I can totally see and hear where everything kind of came from. Everything? Not everything, <laughs> but this, this sound. And also I was intrigued because you were on, um, you were the vocalist on a Chemical Brothers track a few years ago. Oh, yes, that's true. Yes. So the dance, the, that crazy intense Well, you there. know, to me, the most important thing in life is to laugh and to dance. Mm-hmm. So uh, if, I always wanted to play music that made people dance, but uh, you can't always do what you feel like doing. So you just need to do what that, comes so what and is do your best I so guess. We, we covered we covered um uh, we covered mythology and a little yes. bit of history so i'm curious what inspires you to to continue to to make music you're definitely a very artistic person but i'm curious like what is the is there like a process is there something that happens that gets you to start writing i like very much when the fact uh, what happens when i am actually recording and all that process while I, where I feel like I am taken for a ride mm-hmm. and the ride even though I eat and go to bed once in a while I I <laughs> I keep being in that mood for I don't go out I don't see people I don't get any phone calls or anything I'm just doing that mm-hmm. and it's I really honestly feel like the instruments take me for a ride and I am oh. like ooh ooh Oh, look at okay. this. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go there. Let's go there. And then I, sometimes I am half asleep when, when I'm still recording. Mm-hmm. And I realize that I, uh, it becomes like an oneric state or mood. Mm-hmm. And um, when I'm really about to fall asleep, I go to bed. And then in the morning, the first thing I do is come back to the recordings. So I really like that process. So you just totally immerse yourself. How do you know when you're done? Sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes it's good to have a, um, a it's not a dead end. What's the word for that? Uh, um, deadline. Deadline. A okay. deadline. So you have a deadline. You need to make decisions. Okay. Yes. So there's no more money. <laughs> you got to go. <laughs> okay. Juana Molina, live in the studios of KEXP on Wopop. Juana. Okay. I got distracted with all this talking. Sorry. <laughs> It's my job. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, that's the title track of the most recent record, right? Yes. What's it about? This song is about um, that um, wrong feeling, mistaken feeling of thinking you're free. Mm -hmm. And then when you really look at it, you see there's like two invisible legs attached to everything. So you're, there's no freedom at all. Well, Bob, KEXP 90.3 FM. I want to thank Juana Molina, Diego Lopez, Odin Schwartz. I want to thank Patrick, Scott, Jim, Justin, Kevin Suggs, and Lillian Bailey. KEXP 90.3 Seattle, where the music matters. <laughs>